What about block shitty ground block down holes? What were your techniques on uh, clearing those out? It really it it really depended. Like I mean, we would we were sort of had some of the um, the slotted poly. I don't know if if you have that at at some of the sites, but um, some of that, yeah. For emulsion, eh? Hey? So that, it still yeah, that's goes more of the... more emulsion and stuff. But that at least then protected your holes, and you actually had your booster where you wanted it. Did um, they put that down when they drilled it, or you put uh, it down? Sometimes it depends. Like most of the time, um, the long hole operators would do it, and they would sort of again tie it off and make sure that it wasn't going to slip and all that sort of stuff as well. Yeah. Um, but sometimes you'd get a bit of ground movement and stuff and you'd have to try and get them out and try and basically um, see if you can, I guess, get them unblocked and, and mm. clear them out and stuff. Um, but then again, sometimes you just had to get the, the drill back in mm. there and which was, you know, you hated doing it, but there was just sometimes no other way or there could be whole a whole ring that, you know, there's just a bad bad sort of spot or a bad part of the ground where you just, you just got to bite the bullet and... Yeah. Get them back in there. So. Well, I, I, we used to take a shank, an old busted jumbo shank. Yeah. I don't know if it's advisable, but like we used to, <laughs> like, because there might be just a couple of rocks lodged there and blocking the hole, and yep. you just chuck it on a bit of rope and just drop it and just that'd sort of clear sometimes, it. Sometimes, yeah. But I mean, then look, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's just controlling the air and stuff as well. Um, you just had to be careful of what you're, like, you had what to be confident. Whatever there. you're putting down there, you've got to be able to get back out, yeah. right? So I think- people use scaling bars because they're a bit longer and then they get wedged in there yeah, and it's a bloody it's disaster. Just, yeah, absolutely. Shanks worked well, I've found. Yeah, dropping a shank on rope yeah. and then just pull it back out. That used, and sometimes it didn't work and just didn't unblock it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I might be advising things that are in, <laughs> uh, that are in procedures not to do. But I should be right. I've got no liability. Oh, look, it. and there's no, I don't think there's any necessarily right or wrong way. It's just, you know, uh, getting your, you know, I guess everyone's got their own little nicks and knacks of doing things. So, yeah. um, you know, I think air, that the air was always, you know, like if you could and like trying to move it around or whatever, using the air to your advantage and getting the hose where you needed it to and stuff like that as mm. well. So, um, yeah, but, you know, the slotted poly did sort of help to the most part with that. And sometimes like there was, you know, like there was some where we, you know, we got the okay and we just had to swap out a few of the the holes for instead of like the, the bigger sort of boosters, we just went a smaller size because we could get them down oh, there. You could, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And just swap out your sort of, because there was, you know, they were most part double or triple prime depending on your length. So yep. um, swapping those out too, not having to try and fit, you know, like a, a bigger, larger booster down there, um, that that sort of helped as well. So yep. um, if it had somehow squeezed or whatever, you're still able to get those sort of, you know, get those smaller ones through. When the, when you're talking about getting drills back in there as well, when we did the Megs, he said, say if you got 89 mil holes that have been yep. drilled with tubes, uh They'd send back a sender, you know, might be a smaller rig that's got the T38 or T45 rods on it, and it always always fucks out because they, they start cleaning the holes and flushing it out, but then all the f- cuttings bind Drift, up behind the back, yeah. rods and you can't get the rods out. So they said if you if it's a bigger hole, you've got to clean it out with the tubes with yeah. that rig because they it might seem easier to just run the smaller tubes, but then you get a whole string bogged and in it. And then it just becomes a nightmare. It's a bloody – then you've got to drill out there and just for the flow and effect. Yeah. Yes, that was a good deal. I didn't even know. I didn't know that until it's he told me. It's all those little things, hey. Oh, it's, it's lucky we've got a podcast to tell oh, all amazing. these people these things. Amazing. <laughs>